Ah, you're here. Paimon never forgets about meals. Even if the traveler forgets, Paimon will remind him for sure. Oh, that's not what Paimon meant at all. Risley, you got what Paimon meant, right? Hmm? I'm a little confused, actually. Hey, not you too! Jokes aside, I've got some good news. After taking a look, the doctors have let me know that it shouldn't be too difficult to extract the thorns. Which means that everyone should be able to recover after a period of rest. As for their mental recoveries, most are making good progress as well. We've added a few who were more severely affected to a special observation list. You sure got everything taken care of, Risley. I try my best. After all, it's my duty to take care of everything that happens within my territory. Please, go ahead. Ah, that's a bit of a long story. I once had a similar experience. It had to do with the host family I lived with as a child. I was an orphan, adopted by a couple with a great deal of love in their hearts. I had many siblings, and we all adored each other. Once we were older, Mom and Dad would turn us over to be individually adopted by families of greater means and go on to adopt more young children. They were perfect parents. Or so I thought. And then? And then, I found out we were merely raised as livestock. Once we had reached a certain age, our parents would bring us to the market for sale. All children that were sold would leave the house, and nobody would know what became of them. As for those who didn't sell, they were merely disposed of. Did you know I once considered myself an extremely lucky child? And all of my friends, all of my siblings, they all felt this way as well. I was also not the first to find out about the truth. All those who found out before me were simply added to the disposal pile. I could never shake the feeling of irony every time I juxtaposed their tragic ends against our parents' adoring smiles. Yes, like the society, my parents created a facade of joy, lied to satiate their desires, and even employed incredibly cruel methods to keep their grasp on power. They did all of that, but never considered how their actions would utterly ruin all the children they took under their wing. Worse, perhaps they never cared about that at all. But I did. So in the end, I killed them and set all of the remaining children free. I was convicted for my crimes and exiled to the fortress of Meripede. Ah. My methods were extreme, yes. But I was still a teenager at the time. I'd been betrayed by those I trusted most, and I didn't think that more moderate ways would solve the problem. My doubt and helpless anger pushed me forward until I got what I deserved. It's all right. You don't have to tell me what you think. I've already committed to this path, regardless of what anyone may say about it. The least I can do is to make sure that the same tragedy will not happen again in my new home. Sorry to disturb you, everyone. Oh, it's a Vesum Fasol! Are you two feeling better yet? It was all because you arrived in time. I managed to escape unscathed. We came here on impulse today, because we were hoping that you'd be able to lend us a hand, Your Grace. Please, go on right ahead. I'll do my best to help. Within reason, of course. It's... 
I'd like to be wedded to Avis here at the fortress. You're getting married? Yeah. We met each other through the society and both fell into Dugier's trap. But even during our time there, we never doubted each other. We always believed that Dugier was manipulating us, trying to make us mistrust each other. And after this incident, we've come to believe that we've found the one for the rest of our lives. <laughs> you could say we managed to make the best out of a bad situation. He didn't abandon me, and I didn't forsake him either. But we're still both prisoners, and we also aren't sure if the fortress is the best place to host something so celebratory. So we are just wondering, is our request a bit too out of line? Hmm. You're right in that the fortress has never hosted a wedding before. But that's no reason to say no, is it? I'll help you make the arrangements. If you need anything special shipped in from the surface, just say the word. Oh, we can't thank you enough, Your Grace. We are actually also planning to stay here after the conclusion of our sentences. Yeah, we've already made tons of special memories here. So now, it'd be too hard to leave. And we have full confidence in the Fortress's future with you at the helm, Your Grace. Your trust is the highest form of praise. Hey, loosen up a bit! Shouldn't you be the happiest man in Tibet to hear that people would like to stay of their own free will? Yeah. I'll always take a genuine expression of faith over any obligation to obey. <laughs>